You and your friends are making name cards to assign seats for dinner. You each are given an identical strip of blank paper and begin coloring parts of it with crayons. You start with blue, or you start with blue. Your friend Mika starts off with green. Joel starts with red. Holden starts with pink. And Kate starts with purple. After one color is used, who, or after one color is used, whose strip has the same part of its area colored as yours? So let's look at my strip right over here. It has how many equal sections? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six equal sections. And how many of them have been colored blue? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four of my equal sections have been colored blue. So I need to figure out which of these other folks have colored exactly four six of their strip blue. And or another way of thinking about it, I want to say whoever has an equivalent fraction colored, not blue, colored whatever their color might be. So let's look first look at Micah or Mika. So he's got three equal sections. He's got three equal sections and he's colored he's colored two of them, two of them green. Now is four six and two thirds the same thing? Well he has three equal sections. I had six. If I were to group each of these each of these into groups of two, so if I were to divide by two, let me do that. If I were to divide by two, so I'm going to group this into groups of two, then I would have one, two. So I'd have one, two, three equal sections. And then if I were to group the blue, the blue strips into groups of two, then I would have one, two of them that have actually been colored blue. So if I divide both the numerator and the denominator by two, I get two thirds, which is the exact same fraction as Mika. Another way to think about it is if you divided each of Mika's sections into two, so if you divided this into two, this into two, and this into two, well then how many total sections does he have? Well, he had three. Now each of them, each of those three are, uh, have been divided into two, so we can multiply by two to get six. So this is multiplying by two, and each of the two in green, they're now each of those sections have uh, have now been divided into two. So you can multiply by two as well, and you get and you get you get four. So two thirds and four six are the same thing. So Mika has colored in the same amount that I have. Now let's see whether any of these other fractions are the same. So Joel has colored in four. Has colored in four out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four out of seven. So it's not clear to me that we can change this. The we can somehow multiply and divide the new or or divide the numerator and the denominator here. Remember, it has to be by the same number in order to not change the value of the fraction to somehow make that equal to four six. She's she's colored in the same number, but the size of each of her strips is different. So four sevenths is definitely different than four six. So we can rule Joel out. Holden has colored in. Holden has colored in three out of five sections, three out of five sections. Once again, not obvious that I can multiply both the numerator and the denominator three fifths times something to get you to four six, to get you to four six. So these aren't equivalent. And then Kate has colored in. Kate has colored in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight out of eleven. And once again, I could try to get a numerator up here of four. I could divide by two. But then if I divide by two in the denominator, I'm going to get something strange. I'm going to get four over eleven divided by two, which eleven divided by two is like five point five. So this is clearly not the same thing as four six. So I'll rule this out as well. So Micah and I have colored in the same amount.